Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same-game parlays to live in-game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet $100, and get a $100 free bet at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by our mini helmet contest. The SGP mini helmets are now in the store, and we're giving one away for free. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash helmet that's sports gambling podcast.com slash helmet we're also brought to you by our college football playoff props contest two hundred dollar gift card to the winner exclusively on the sgpn app Welcome, everyone, to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. I'm in the mountains, Sean. Awesome. Joining us to talk college football, Colby Dant, a.k.a. the Dantabase, a.k.a. Pick Dundee. What's happening, Colby? I mean, I just want to start off. You're, there's something about you very magical, Sean, stacking the money green, because <laughs> the 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 heater that you're on on the first off the Kansas lock. I mean, I know we all picked Kansas, <laughs> but the fact that was, that, that was a fortunate uh, cover, certainly. Oh, oh, uh, you know, I've been on fire like past. I don't know, past, like 10 of the past games, college football. But you, you not according to our audience. The back door, the back door uh, cover with the cues scoring with two minutes left to get the back door cover against Minnesota. Oh, yeah. And then I, the San Diego State basketball game. San Diego State basketball. I, I wish I had saved my exact score predictions for non service academy regular season basketball. Maybe save it for the tournament. But if you missed the college basketball picks podcast, not only did I go 2 0 with my locks, not only did I go 2 0 with my bowl locks, but. Kramer and Colby were, of course, doubting Air Force. I said, listen, this game's not going to be pretty. They're going to lose by exactly 16 points. They're going to lose 71 to 55, and that's exactly what happened. I should have locked that up. That would have been an all-timer. But still, nice cover on the 17. Aim high. Let's go, Air Force. You should have used those powers on the Cowboys game tonight. <laughs> oh man, that was a real shit fest. Although Ryan, we hit uh, Dak over interception. That was like, that was really the only one I. Uh, that was the one I had the biggest rooting interest in. I mean, when they decided not to play Malik Willis and Josh Dobbs, Dobbs looked way better. So all the props that we had kind of uh, thrown out with the handicap of them playing Malik Willis, who obviously needs the reps completely goes out the window. Sean, let's not forget Dobbs, uh, former Tennessee man, as Colby will tell you, uh, going to be the first football player to, or the second football player to go to uh, space. He's a, he's an ash. He's in the astronaut training program or whatever, or he did, you know, so he's a, he's a real dude. I kind of, I like rooting for him. I just don't, this Tennessee team. I mean, good thing we get to talk about college right now. Cause Mike, the, Brable, first, the first was Ric Flair to space, right? <laughs> Well, he, he he went to he went to space in the back of like a 1984 Cadillac <laughs> limousine. Uh, he, was, he, he, was, he was leaving Earth's orbit uh, multiple times a day. He he was uh, he was riding a Scud missile or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Woo! All right, chats, you, <laughs> chats alive ahead. and well. YouTube.com slash Sports Gambling Podcast. D Bettis up in this bitch. Uh, Fade Colby in full effect, according to D Bettis. Jay whoa, 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 whoa! I mean, fl- look, I, I was spot on with Oklahoma tonight. Come on, come yeah. on! Yeah, you did make it your money line play. Didn't hit. I, my, I had Syracuse as my dog. Man, I, you know, it, it's hard to complain about that game, but. Garrett Schrader, if he doesn't throw that horrific uh, pick six, they felt like they had a shot at that game. They destroyed him in yards gained, but of course, no one cares. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you know, no one cares about the CLV or potential wins. We're here to give out some stone cold winners. If you're looking to get down on college football, college basketball, the National Football League, you got to do it over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com/slash winbet. 
sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T. Bet big, win bigger. Bet $100, get a free $100 bet. That's right. State restrictions could apply. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bets. Fire up that parlay wheel. And since we're listening to the college football playoff show, uh, reduced juice on sides and totals for all bowl games day of. This thing is really sweet. I mean, why? If you're betting at minus 110, you're throwing money out the window. SportsGamblingPodcast.com slash W-I-N-N-B-E-T. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at WinBet.com. Most important one or older and present the same reflect to WinBet is available. If you're somebody who knows a gaming problem, call 1-800-522-4700. Rocking. All right, let's go. College football right. Invitational. And, hey, uh, like I said in the pre-roll, if you missed it, of course, we are doing a college football playoff props contest, $200 gift card to the winner exclusively on the SGPN app. So get in there, uh, make your college football uh, playoff picks, and we still have the bowl contest going as well. So tons of way to win some sweet gift cards and cash. Lo- love all the non NBA contests we're running right now, Sean. They're delightful. All right, well, let's... I would, I was going to run them and I hit up moon off about, Hey, I want to okay. send you over. And I, I emailed moon and Terrell saying, Hey, I want to run this contest. They said they're on a page strike. So I, it would, if you guys want an NBA contest, you're going to have to ask them to get off their strike. <laughs> uh, they're getting splinters in their hands from those, uh, those picket signs. All right, let's head over to the sugar bowl. We're a new year's Eve morning. 9 a.m. on the West Coast, Oof. heading to Nolens. Uh, it's going to be lit there, I think. Hey, Coach Oho will be lurking somewhere in the stands of the Sugar Bowl. Alabama, Kansas State, Bama land six and a half, minus 270 on the money line. Kansas State plus 215, 56 is the total. Numbers all you got to see here. Motivation edge to Kansas State, Alabama, first time in a long time. They're playing in a lowly bowl game. I don't see them being motivated. I'll let Colby rattle off the opt outs and such, but th- to me that this six and a half tells me all I need to see. Give me the purple team. I mean, I'm all over Kansas state too. I mean, uh, I will say shout out to Alabama culture having, you know, Will Anderson and, and Bryce young, oh, wow. not opt out, even though the fact they're going to be first round draft picks, uh, pretty, pretty awesome. In my opinion, like shout out to, 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 to what Saban has, has got going there with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay. Obviously they lose their defensive backs coach. He's Colorado's new DC, Charles Kelly. Um, then you have a bunch of portal players that, and that's, what's concerning is that they weren't very good, uh, on with their wideouts this year. And four of them hit the portal. So they're going to be out also running back. Trey Sanders also hit the portal. Now they're fine at running back. Uh, but also three offensive linemen hit the portal, three guys, uh, on the defensive side of the ball, two injured, one hit the portal. So. I would say depth might be a thing, might be a thing, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, K-State on the other side of things, Adrian Martinez, they said he's practicing, so potential, you might see a two-quarterback system with Will Howard and, and, and uh, Adrian Martinez. Besides that, they don't really have any opt-outs. Uh, one one corner hit the portal, but he, he didn't get a ton. I mean, he was he got a, 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 some reps, but n- nothing crazy. It wasn't a starter. So uh, besides that, they have uh, minimal injuries. There's three guys out uh, with injuries. Uh, I'm on K-State, though, man. And I, I think the real thing is Alabama, you know, yes, from uh, from a motivational s- uh, standpoint, like getting young and Anderson back, obviously maybe the team gets behind that. But I think this is K-State Super Bowl. I think Chris Kleiman also will be able to have success. It's not like Alabama had the, the greatest of, uh, of run defense. Their defense was kind of – yeah. Not to not to get uh, Kramer's SEC trolls all fired up again, but Bama's defense, considering they had Will Anderson, who some naively thought was going to be in the Heisman mix, uh, which was an insane take. Um, uh, you know, their their defense felt like kind of came up flat in a lot of big spots. My my only concern is what if Alabama uses this bowl game as a statement to be like, see, look, we are one of the best teams in the country. Look, we, we deserve to be in the college football playoff. You know, you got uh Nick Saban out there slicking his hair back talking about uh rust proof in a Cadillac. I, I just, you know, I'm slightly concerned that, uh, that Alabama goes, you know, goes nuts on this offensively. I'm with you guys on taking K state, but I am, I'm not going to lock this up because I am slightly concerned. What is the What is the money split Kramer? Is there, is the public all on Alabama here? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't think you lock it up either. Anyway, yeah. Continue there. No, the, yeah, the, the the certainly the the money split is in Alabama's favor. It looked towards like seventy thirty. So I mean, it makes sense, right? People, of course, are going to grab a six and a half. I think that's why it's like there. It does seem like books are making a, an opinion, having it sit here. It has gone. I believe the opener was three. Colby uh, could correct me, but so there has been some movement, but. I think that's all about the players not opting out. I think they I almost certainly expected those players to opt out, and they didn't. So, and how, how is Alabama's defense fourteenth? That just seems crazy to me. Well, um, you, you know, I think you saw Sonny Dykes talk about it today. Is that normally when you you know I, he called out the SEC and the uh, the <laughs> fact that they play the Citadel or something in November Mexico. while we know Texas. So yeah. that that always helps your stats. Uh, you know that, that to to Ryan's credit with his argument, but I will say this in a dome. Speed normally prevails, and Alabama will certainly have the faster team. Uh, but I'm, I'm still with you. Give me the points. But who's more likely to be treating this like a business trip? To me, yeah. like this is also like Will, Will Anderson and Bryce. They're not going to play the whole game. This is going to be there's going to be some sort of ceremonial aspect to this, where you know Saban you gets what he wants. Gonna, you don't think they're going to play the whole game? I think there's a world where Saban gets what he wants. The players get to start the game. They get to have their one last go of being a college player, knowing that they're maybe going to give way to some, some of the younger guys in the second half. I don't, I don't know if like, I wonder if Saban, obviously Saban's playing to win the game, but I wonder how hard he's willing to play the game versus getting some looks for some of these young guys he's going to need next year. All right. Music city bowl, in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee, another 9am kick on the West coast, Iowa, Kentucky. <sighs> Mr. Stoops and that beautiful, beautiful contract once again getting extended. Is Iowa, is Iowa legally allowed to play in a bowl? Uh, or uh, sorry, in a dome? Because that would be oh, no. Iowa in a dome. That's that's just great football. They're on uh, grass here. The long grass of Charlotte laying two and a half, minus 135 on the money line. Kentucky plus 115. 31 is the total. I, I don't know. It's always hard for me to look to Kentucky, especially when they have the man. Every draft Nick is talking about Will Levis all world quarterback who didn't has it. He hasn't done shit that I've seen in any single college game period. I mean, this game happened January 1st of this year. So this is the second game we get to see them in 2022. Why would they do this to us? Cause the first one 20 to 17 uh, and, and Kentucky battled back to get that dub. Um, but yes, we get them twice within one calendar year. And this game is, you want to talk about fucking gross. <laughs> First off, the total's at 31 for a reason. And I actually think we should probably lock up the under because you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Iowa, we know lawn chair factory at quarterback. Spencer Petrus is injured, right? Uh, he's injured. Well, their backup transferred. So then they're, they're, they're going to be on their third string. Joey Labas, who's never attempted a pass ever. In college now football. Now, is that in college football or, or just in his life? Because I wouldn't be surprised if Iowa has yeah. a quarterback who's never completed the pass. I mean, how is Iowa, their offense is 130th. They're only 23 spots behind Kentucky. That's insane. <laughs> and, and then you add in, you know, Iowa is like a tight end factory. Sam Laporta, who's a beast tight end, is injured. Uh, they lost running back Gavin Williams to the portal, wide receiver Keegan Johnson to the portal, uh, Arlen Bruce to the portal, uh, one of their offensive linemen as well. And then on the defensive side of the ball, some of their some some really good guys like safety KV and Merriweather opted out. Uh, Coop, Cooper Dijon or whatever is injured as well. I mean, they lost like six guys on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, to, I mean, the quarterback play, I guess, can't get that much worse from Petrus, but then you flip it over to the other side. Kentucky, obviously, Will Levis opts out. Now, we saw Destin Wade play against South Carolina. Have an efficient, you know, a great defense. And Destin Wade is pretty bad. So, it's going to be him, at, at, I think. I know they got another guy, Sharon. But either way, both very good at quarterback. And then the running back situation at Kentucky, which was a strong suit of theirs all year. Chris Rodriguez opts out. Their second string running back who got a lot of burn, Cavassier Smokes, hit, hit, hit the portal. Then Raymond Jefferson, who won a national championship Wait, at Sam Houston guy's, State, transferred him. Cavassier Smokes. Come Cavassier on, Smokes. Yeah. Cavassier Smokes. But how drunk were his parents? Smoke. Smoke. Yeah. 
Smoke S <laughs> Vassier Smoke. That's the guy's real name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're going on a run to a liquor store. Yeah, pick me up, Cavassier, and smoke. Well, earlier we had Cooper <laughs> Dijon, one of the menu items down on Epstein Island. <laughs> uh, but, but, you're, you're saying a lot here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Iowa, just because they they have the defense and uh, Kentucky. You know, to your point, without Will Levis, I mean, the offense wasn't that great with Will Levis. I, what am I missing here? The only thing that scares me off this is Iowa does seem like everyone is on Iowa, right, Ryan? Uh, it's going to be raining too. I think that's probably what's drawing people to Iowa. Uh, yeah. It's a similar split to the Alabama game. It's uh, 70% on Iowa certainly is this look I what's the t-shirt Colby. Is it kicker in the portal? Kick him in the portal. You got kicked in the portal. There's gotta be a t-shirt. Uh, you saying in the portal is just too funny every time. I didn't even get to all the shit for, for Kentucky. I mean, there's way other, I mean, their best corners opting Tavian Robinson's out. Here's the real X factor. I was punter, Tory Taylor. He's a fucking beast. All right. Iowa lost this game a year ago or, you know, January 1st this year. They're, they have the motivation and they have the best punter perhaps in college football. Tory Taylor, yeah. MVP. Give me the Hawkeyes. Yeah, I, it's raining. To, if it's a sloppy field, come on. Where where is this being played? This is in the Titan That's, Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that stadium can get sloppy. Sean, you joining us? Yeah, I'm all over on. Uh, okay, I'm on Iowa. I already, yeah, we're, already. All, we're we're all skipping down the uh, the hallway this uh, on this <laughs> one. Brian, you keep saying that as if it's an expression. It's not yeah. an expression. This, that's this is part of my enjoyment. You getting upset that it's not really an expression. Mississippi State, Hale State, taking on Illinois down in Tampa, Florida. Is this not the Pirate Bowl? It is. is. This, it's the Gasparilla Bowl, right? It's it's yeah. sponsored by someone named Reliquest. Sean, how do we not have a fucking bowl game? Mississippi State laying a point and a half, minus one twenty on the money line. Illinois plus one hundred forty six is the total. Did you have you not seen some of the stuff that the players are saying? Have you not seen like even the recruits were the last recruiting class coach Leach ever had, like calling out the other recruits. Like, don't you dare change your commitment. You bitches. I love the, <laughs> the trajectory of this program is delightful. And there's absolutely no I, like Brent Bielema still came from the Joe judge coaching tree. Never forget Mississippi state lay the point and a half. Yeah, it's hard to All fade day. the, the, the memory of Mike Leach. But Illinois, man, they, they've hung around. They, they, hung, they gave Michigan a tough game. I do think in a weird way this might be a ton of pressure for a bowl game. Like you've just been think, thinking about this, dealing with it uh, the entire month. And then also we lose Coach Leach as an offensive mind to run the air raid. I mean, that, those, are my, those are my biggest concerns. I mean, I think emotionally they get up for the game. And I'm going to take him, but I, I am slightly concerned about Illinois. I mean, what if one of the, you know, the receivers start dogging it, who on their coaching staff is going to take all their chairs and fold them all up. Who's going to make fun of their fat little girlfriends. You know, there, there is a leadership vacancy on, on Mississippi state. You know, I think that's a legit concern. I'm, I'm still going to take Mississippi state. Uh, Cause I do think it is. I don't think Illinois has the personnel to match up with the air raid, but it, that is a slight concern. Wow. Well, uh, you also got to add in the fact, though, that Ryan Walters, their star defensive coordinator, took the head coaching job at Purdue. He is out uh, for for Illinois. They had the number two ranked defense in America and uh, the Brown brothers. Right. Chase Brown, Sidney Brown. Obviously, if you watch Illinois football this year, there wasn't very elite, but Chase Brown was. And without him, they're actually on very thin at the running back position. Uh, I, I think, I think Hale state gets up for him on a pirate ship. You can't fade Mike. Yeah, Lee. Come on. No, I mean, they have legit cannons in the stadium. I'm with you. I'm just saying, I do think, you know, you will miss his offensive mind, right? Uh, I mean, maybe I think, I think his system is pretty, I think part of his system as a coach was making sure his assistants could do all the work. Uh, he was a smart man. He understood how to delegate. And I think he was quite good about that. So Honestly, I think this is just an effort. And bowls are all about effort, handicapping, Sean, as you know. Sure. And somehow more people are betting on Illinois in this one. I don't quite get that. It's almost like they haven't seen these custom 
fire ass helmets that Mississippi helmets State are team sweet. We got to figure out, out how to get one in our uh, in our studio. Yeah, if you're a Mississippi State guy, uh, f- find a way to get us one of those. We'll we'll make it worth your while. All right, next up. And if people are wondering why I keep reaching up like this, I'm, my setup is so strange. The mouse is actually over here on like a dresser. Uh, too, too sure, late. you don't have a friend over there you're taking care of, right? No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not giving out handies off to the side. And the computer is on. You, you did say you were going skiing. So I am. I am going skiing. So I, I, yeah, we all remember how to ski. I got the mountains behind me and everything. Uh, and I have the computer on an ironing board, so I'm afraid to touch anything or the camera will start shaking. Tulane heads to Arlington, Texas, and the Cotton Bowl, where they'll be taking on USC. Trojans minus two, minus 130 on the money line. Tulane plus 110. 62 is the total. Uh, so the quarterback for USC is not opting out, right? That, that would be epic. Full year opt out. He's got a <laughs> hamstring injury, but but it seems like he's going to play, it, from what I understand. Like, uh, it's, I think game time decision, but... I Hammies think it- are a great way to opt out. I mean, is that ankle completely healed too? I mean, that was that looked pretty rough in the uh, in the Pac-12 uh, conference game, right? Like, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if he's, especially with the hamstring. Like, part of why he's so fun as a prospect is his ability to like slide around in the pocket, do those like Patrick Mahomes, Ian things, find unique throwing angles. If that's not there, I don't I don't know if I'm as excited to take USC. Well, and his obviously Travis Dye's been out for the year for a while. The Oregon transfer at running back, and then Jordan Addison, Pat Narduzzi's boy, uh, he is out for this game as well. And uh, same with Romello Height, their defensive end is really good. So there is that. Tulane's pretty much got everyone playing. There's a couple injuries, but there's been injuries that have happened uh, for a while now. Uh, so everyone else opting in for the green wave, but I still think USC is, is just a flat out better team here. I think it's a bad matchup in yeah. a dome, getting USC's talent in the dome. Uh, so I am I'm, I'm on the Trojans here. Minus oh, see, this, this number stinks, Colby. I thought you were going to tell us that this is a Courtney love spot and we got to take Tulane. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going Tulane here. I think the motivation is going to be with Tulane. USC is, you know, you know how these millennials you know, do things. If they don't, if they don't get their way, they're disappointed. Everyone's a hater. We should have been in the playoff. Everyone's out to get me. Uh, I want my money back because a player got injured. Uh, you know, we should avoid that game because Caleb Williams hurt his ankle. I'm all on Tulane here. I, at Tulane beating USC is huge for that program. This is in Arlington. Um, yeah, I, I like Tulane here catching too. Yeah, it's it. I think the number the the first thing I thought when I saw that number was you got to take Tulane here. There's there's no way USC minus two makes any sense. This this one stinks. And and by the way, the last two games on the second because the NFL took over New Year's Day this year and college football just bent over and took it. I love um, I love how they do that, but yet they keep the games the playoff games on New Year's Eve, which has history has yeah. proved they don't rate well going up against new year's yeah, eve why are you why are you having ohio state georgia new year's eve kicking off eight o'clock on the east coast like everyone's wife or girlfriend is wanting to go out wanting to go to some dinner hey we gotta go watch some you know slap dicks in new york city watch a ball drop what <laughs> and we have years of data originally i don't i forget it was it hancock that said that this is going to change the sport we're going to own new year's eve now well, no, the, we have five years of data of, of this, and it's just terrible. It, you know, it's still going to chart okay because it's football, but at the same time, like yeah, run it, <laughs> run it, yeah. run it Friday night, run it, yeah. run it Monday night. Um, I mean, Monday night would be awesome. Like just run double the, header, run, yeah. Run okay, the Rose Bowl, all the games, kick those off at like nine a.m. Monday, uh, January second, and then Monday night, you know, the NFL figured out how to do two Monday night games. College can do that. I mean, that's when they do the championship game. It it makes no sense. Yeah, it's it's college football. That's what they do. They can they do don't it. own they don't own New Year's Eve, Colby. That's uh that's for Ryan Seacrest and Mariah Carey. <laughs> exactly. Uh, next, hopefully they uh, they trot her. I mean, we, driving up uh, through the, on the beautiful three ninety five in Central uh, California, just seeing all the cattle made me think of uh, Mariah Carey and how they trot her out on New Year's every year. LSU heads to Orla- Orlando hosting a lot of bowl games this year. The Citrus Bowl, uh, LSU, Purdue, LSU laying 14 and a half minus 630 on the money line. 444 Purdue, 55 and a half is the total. 
It's a huge number here. Is this the? I mean, I understand that LSU is always stock full of talent, but this is crazy, right? Uh, absolutely crazy, considering what is missing. And first off, LSU wasn't that good this year. Now, I, no, I get it. it certainly didn't have a team that destroyed and and blew people out. Um, you know, no, J- Jaden Daniels is out, right? Or is he? He's still banged up. I'm hearing he might play, though. I, I think he might play, but if I was him, you might want to consider. I mean, I guess I would play, but I'm saying you, you, everyone else is out. Jack uh, Besh at the portal. Kyron Lacey's injured. Uh, Jare Jenkins. Uh, Kayshawn Butte all, all out, opted out. Uh, the, Missing a ton of offensive linemen, too. Well, it's like 100 players, I feel like, this list. But at the same time, and, and that's another thing to consider, is how thin they were at defensive back in the regular season anyway. But then you add in the fact Savion Banks, the Ohio State transfers, out. Jay Ward opted out um, and, and a slew of other ones on the defensive backfield hit the portal or opted out. So they are razor thin back there against Purdue who can sling the rock. Now here's the thing is obviously Jeff Brown took the, uh, the Louisville job, but his brother is going to coach this game before he, I think he heads to Louisville. And I still think that he's going to be able to s- scheme up and, and pretty much with, with Aiden O'Connell out of the Purdue's quarterback, I still think they're going to be able to pass the ball and have efficiency. Now, I got to mention that Charlie Jones, their best wide, wide out is, is opting out and same with their tight end Payne Durham. But I, I think Purdue can cover the big number, man. I really do. Uh, or this is some sort of like show out game for LSU. The number moved from nine to 14 and a half. Someone knows something, right? I'll lay the points. Fuck it. Well, you're, you're sticking with Purdue. I mean, yeah. I, I, I just don't, I think the motivation is here for Purdue as well. Like again, you know, they, they play this, you know, just classic. Um, I, I don't know. Not there could be a massive that, talent gap here. There could that's be. That's true. But again, I, I don't know. Like so far in these games, the team that's way better and favored by big numbers, you know, I, they just haven't been dominating to that, to that degree. Right. I mean, I feel like I've been leaning dogs, um, small favorites and that's been working out. I Who's think the motivational. More, I mean, even, even look at like even look at UNC Oregon. You know, stuff like yeah. that. Uh, spread was fourteen, and you know UNC uh, was in that game to the very end. So I I think it could be a situation like this. I mean, I understand Purdue doesn't have UNC style of offense, but it does seem like a big program that thinks it's better than the Citrus Bowl. I mean, this team was you know this program was playing for a national championship a couple of years ago. I think if you think you're too big for the situation, I'm looking to fade you and. We've, I think we've done well so far fading the SEC in bowl games. So I'm, I'm yeah, you. yeah, but that the great point. LSU much more uh, likely to not be down here partying in Florida. The Purdue Big Ten kids. It doesn't matter that it's Orlando and it's late. What are they going to go get some butter beer at uh, fucking Walt Disney? Uh, they're going to wrestle some Gators, get crazy. They're 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 country boys. That's what they do. Hey, uh, we got more college bowl games and, of course, the college football playoffs. Oh, look at this. I got a I got a delicious cup of uh, trade coffee right here. I inhale coffee. I drink about an insane amount of cup, a cup of coffee a day. I start my day with a uh, delicious trade coffee afternoon. I make some trade coffee cold brew and it's uh, it, it's really sweet. One. You never want to wake up in the morning and not have coffee already ready to go. That's why Trade Coffee has you covered with their coffee subscription service. Again, makes it super easy, super simple. Uh, maybe you whiffed and totally forgot to give someone a holiday gift. This is a great uh, makeup gift. So, Ryan, look forward to some Trade Coffee coming your way. Awesome, uh, thank you. <laughs> no, it, it's pretty sweet. And you t- you start off by taking a little uh, taking a coffee quiz, asking like what kind of flavors you like, and then they they um, handpick the coffees to match your specific flavor profile. Again, it's delicious coffee coming straight to your house. You don't have to do anything. Super easy. And again, I, a highlight of my day is when trade coffee comes. You can smell the beans through the mailbox. Have a better year by upgrading your morning routine with better coffee. Right now, Trade is offering our listeners a free bag of coffee with any subscription at drinktrade.com slash SGP. That's drinktrade.com slash SGP for a free bag of coffee with any subscription purchase. Drinktrade.com slash SGP. Uh, also, also oh, I'm sorry, Sean. Finish what you're saying. Also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. 
again, uh, Battle Royale, Kramer and I have been doing uh, the playoff best ball teams. They have daily games for NBA, NHL, underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGPN, 100% deposit match up to $100. Ryan, as you were saying. Well, I was going to say my mom also a big fan of trade coffee and she's a huge coffee snob. So shout out to trade coffee, uh, Rose bowl. Uh, the, 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 the sunset is going to be uh, Oh wait, why is the game so early Colby 2 PM? Is that correct? No, they, they do that. On oh, purpose. so the I, sunset can uh, hit. The I know I was just joking in the third quarter, <laughs> the sun's setting over the mountain, beautiful Mount Angeles mountains. We need bill Walton to come on and narrate it for us. Uh, Pasadena, California, Penn State, Utah, classic Big Ten, Pac-12 matchup here. Utah minus two, minus one thirty on the money line. Penn State plus one ten. Fifty-two and a half is the total. Real quick question, Kramer: What do you think two tickets uh, go for at the Rose Bowl? Just I'm sure you could probably go watch your alma mater for you and the wife for forty-two dollars. One hundred eight. That's enough. Oh, okay. So, no, oh, that's probably 42 plus fees. I was close. <laughs> no, it's 108 plus fees. So it's oh, probably okay. like 142. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, like the, the handicap here is I, I feel maybe there's some bias here, but Penn State seems to always show up in these crate in their in the Rose Bowl games they play in. And, and like, I think there's a, a legit chance that Utah is the team that's less motivated here. Yeah. I mean, Utah, I, I think they, their Super Bowl was, you know, winning, beating USC. I, I, in a weird way, I, I know there would still probably be motivated to win the Rose bowl for Penn state, you know, for a team that's kind of like always hanging around the college football playoff, not quite getting in, you know, like always one of the better two lost teams, uh, Sean Clifford, uh, just a straight dog. dog. Uh, this is, this is, you know, this is a Sean Clifford game. Uh, if I ever saw one and Utah, you know, Utah, they're a good team, but I, I don't trust them outside of Utah. Now, I, I know I said the same thing for the uh, Pac-12 conference championship game. But again, I, I think if Caleb Williams doesn't get hurt, maybe that's a different game. But I, I, I like I like Penn State here a ton. I mean, uh, I don't know. They, they historically seem to show up and I'll pull the stats on it. But um, yeah, they, they just do well in, in bowl games. No, Utah all day. Oh, Kyle great. Whittingham, you want to talk about doing well in bowl games. 12 and 4 all time in bowl games, and they've never won a Rose Bowl. They came pretty damn close a year ago, and their fans were super excited for that. I think they have every motivational edge in this matchup because they want to win the Rose Bowl. First ever Rose Bowl before it gets perhaps devalued a little bit by the large expanding playoffs. Uh, so I'm all over there. In my opinion, Utah's got the better offense, the better defense. Uh, what? I mean, Penn State's top players defensively Jerry Porter jr. Opting out of this game. That's substantial right there. Same with Parker Washington at the wide receiver spot. I think, you know, this favors Utah, but I mean, I get it. Can Kate opted out for, for Utah, uh, for Utah tight end and same with their Clark Phillips at uh, corner. I still think Utah has got the better roster, the better offense, the better defense. This number stinks. Just like the USC game. Give me Penn state. Yeah, uh, he's five and five. He started off slow, but he's been better as of late. Colby, you like Utah, huh? I do. Utah, oh, Utah, zero and one in the Rose Bowl this year. Suck it, Colby. All right, <laughs> yes, the the US zero and two left. technically. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's head over to the college football playoff. We'll step back into the time machine. 1 p.m. As Colby mentioned on New Year's Eve, a night that Ryan Seacrest and Mariah Carey owned. Live from Glendale, Arizona, and the Fiesta Bowl, it's TCU, Michigan, Michigan lay in the seven and a half, minus 310 on the money line, TCU plus 245, 58 and a half is the total. It's hard to see an, a, a path from, uh, like, I, I'm definitely going to be, t, like, t, TCU, or I'm sorry, Michigan in a teaser. That That's the play for sure. But Colby, are we, are we is Michigan just going to roll here? No, not at all. I think TCU is a live dog. Uh, I think they've played a much harder schedule than Michigan. Everyone looks at the Ohio State game. Michigan's at a conference schedule was dog shit. They probably should have lost to Illinois. Now, I do believe Harbaugh will have this team ready because I think he's one of the best coaches. Uh, but I think one of the more underrated things is Joe Gillespie getting a month to prep. Joe Gillespie is a very good defensive coordinator for TCU, and I think he'll be a head coach probably within the next year or so. 
And you look, I know everyone says, well, TCU is the 74th ranked defense. They're not ready for this game. They've played, they've played better offenses than Michigan. They, they would be, they would be charting a lot better defensively had they, had they played Michigan's schedule. Now look at that Texas game. Texas has an awesome rushing attack with Rashawn Johnson and Bijan Robinson. And they were able to bottle them up. I think uh, B. John Robinson had 22 yards rushing on them. Go, uh, Gillespie, I'm sorry, can really can really get it going, I feel like, and make – I think they're going to be able to make life hard for Michigan's offense. So I'm all over TCU plus eight. Sprinkle some on the money line. Noah in the chat pointing out the Big 12 is about to be 0-6 so far in bowl games. It's possible. They're the best conference. Uh, earlier, Benedict Dan told, uh, reminding us that the first half unders are now 19, 8, and 1 after going 3 and 0 today. Uh, we've, it seems like we've maybe found a new system for the first half unders. I love this. I love how the, the D gens are probing for us. And, and yeah, this is Michigan. Michigan is going to be just too strong. This will be an attrition kind of cover. It will, it will be a close game into the third quarter, and then they'll just be a, a play or two that turn the wrong way, and the field will be tilted. Michigan wins by 21 points. Yeah, Michigan's – I mean, again, Michigan has an amazing defense, and this is – a you know, Michigan actually has a quarterback uh, this year as well. I mean, I hate going against TCU because I, I like their program. I I feel like I picked them a, a bunch this season. Um you know, Max Duggan, I mean, that dude is a straight dog. But I, I just think they're they're making the seven and a half because they need some people to talk themselves into TCU. Uh, Michigan is just going to destroy them. I, I think so. I think some of the seven and a half come is coming from just the Michigan alumni base is so massive. It probably does in, in influence the betting markets a little bit. So uh, not as many Texas grad, t- TCU grads out there. C- citing bowl stats is for conferences. I don't care what conference fucking ridiculous. Spencer Sanders didn't play for Oklahoma state. B. John Robinson and Roshan Johnson is not playing for Texas. It, it this is a, it, these are a charity events as far as I'm concerned. No, you know what I mean? kiss, kiss the fucking ring. No, how dare you? How dare you disparage the Godfather? Uh, all right. Uh, so, I mean, I, yeah. I hear you. I hear you, Colby. I, I like the, I, I, you were always going to pick TCU. You, the, t, this is a, this is a classic. Underdog. Colby. This yeah. Like- this I mean, like, this feels like Cincinnati last year, right? No, TCU is way better than Cincinnati was last year. That, that's way a true better. story. Way better than Cincinnati was last year. Uh, now, you know, obviously, but I do believe Harbaugh with a month is, is I think Harbaugh is like the most underrated, one of the more underrated coaches in all of football, like including pro football. Uh, I, th- I think, you know, with him being, he'll be able to scheme up and get some points going on the TCU defense. But I do think TCU will shut down that run some. If they do, they'll have a chance. I, I wonder if they'll do that. All right. Peach Bowl, Atlanta, Georgia, Ohio State, and jo- wait, Georgia gets a home game? Come on. 5 p.m. on the West Coast. Georgia laying six and a half, minus 280 on the money line. Money line. Ohio State plus 225. 62 is the total. Ohio State obviously getting some, some um, dollars flowing in their way. Uh, to, to counteract the initial Georgia money that came in when it opened at six, went from six to seven, back to six and a half holding strong at six and a half tells me that people are just too cute galaxy branding. And they're like, Oh really? You're going to give me seven points with Ohio state. Cool. Take it. I'll lay seven with, with this Georgia team in this spot. Happy to take six and a half. What are we, th- what are we doing here? We're, we're, we just get, we got tired of watching Georgia dominate teams and we think Ohio state's going to be able to do something. Colby's going to tell you, well, you, you beat them with the wide receivers and, and that's I, the, I, it's, I, in I, a, it's in a dome. Yeah, yeah I, no, but I think that favors, I think that favors Ohio state. Yeah. Uh, it does. And, yeah, and, no, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I thought last year, I thought had Ohio state beaten Michigan, I thought Ohio state was the, the one team that could beat Georgia. And I know there's no Smith and Jigba, no no Travion Henderson, and I know that you know those are key guys. But I think I think Ohio State has the formula. How did Georgia lose what their only game in the past two years was to Bryce Young and Alabama because they had elite wide receiver play, and they made Stetson Bennett have to come from behind, and uh, I should say elite quarterback and wide receiver play. Well, Ohio State has that, and I think they can pose the same threats that Alabama. Alabama would have beat them the second time had their receivers not been depleted. Uh, so I'm, give me give me the Buckeyes. 
Give me the Buckeyes here. I think yeah, Buckeyes the can- difference is, though, like Saban uh, greater than Day. And sure. now, like, after sure. this season, I'll say this. But like, as much as I was, I've been a Bryce Young hater, he's definitely way better than C.J. Stroud. Like, C.J. Stroud's just going to be another Justin Field. So I-, I think Ryan Day has also kind of exposed himself as being a tiny bit of a fraud. Just a, a uh, tiny well, fraud. I, I think, though, that's, that's all the motivation, though, because everyone's questioning him now. The guy's got an unbelievable record. And look, I, I've been the first to say I thought he's a little bit overrated as a coach, but hey, he has a month, and this team does have a chip on their shoulder. I love the spot a loss. Like they yeah. they they got embarrassed by their rival. I I think again, it's you know obviously Georgia's motivation is going to be through the roof as well. Um, you know, playing in the in the Georgia Dome down there, whatever Mercedes Benz Chick Fil A Dome. Uh, Chick Fil A will be served there, so shout out to Chick Fil A. Good business sense. Uh, you know, playing the bowl games on a Saturday there. Yeah, I, I think Ohio State's going to be able to move the ball on this Georgia defense. I, I like the receivers. I think they're going to be able to throw them. Yeah, give me Ohio State. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's go. <sighs> Noah B. pointing out Ryan Day is coaching with his career on the line. That doesn't Pick mean it. he's he's going to start coaching good. The reason his career is on the line is because he's not that good. So, I mean, I, I get that angle, but I think if you're coaching with your career on the line, like how many guys who are coaching with their career on the line actually save their career? Not many. M- Doug, Doug Peterson and Tom Coughlin, maybe too. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you guys are getting way too cute with this. Georgia by a million. Lock, Georgia by a million. Sorry, in Sean. These, Tell us these, about the lock dog tease. No, in, the, uh, in, these, in these first rounds of the college football playoff, it's been heavy heavy on the favorites and the under. So uh, Chuck city over there, Ryan Kramer, you know, I, I get it. You, you, you never met a favorite you didn't like, but I, Ohio state, this is a great spot for Ohio state time for the lock dog. And are we going to do a tease? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not actually teasing bowl games, but um, maybe, maybe there's some decent opportunities. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Jesus. Flush that toilet. Dude, I, I mean, I he's real to me. He's real to me. All right, Georgia. Georgia's lock, your lock, Ryan? I'm going to lock up Georgia and Michigan. Uh, for my dog, you know, I, I certainly think from a price-wise, like I like Tulane's going to win that game. That, that 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 there's some stink there, but give me the bigger number with Kansas State plus 215. And Alabama can watch, uh, they can root for Georgia and chant SEC on the sideline. And since, since Sean, um, not doing teases, I'll do a tease. Penn state up to eight Tulane up to eight Michigan. Actually, no, leave Michigan off. We're going to do Mississippi state around the horn to four and a half. Wow. Hell state shout out coach Leach. All right. Here's what we got. Uh, for my lock, give me Kansas State plus six and a half. Long, long cocks. Uh, for my other lock, give me, hmm, I like Purdue, man. 14 and a half is insane for that game. Uh, Purdue plus 14 and a half for my dog, Ohio State on the money line. Ohio State is a dog. You're crazy. Uh, for my tees, give me uh, Penn State up to eight. Give me uh, Michigan down to one and a half. And then give me uh, Purdue up to uh, Purdue up to 20 and a half. All right, there you go. Colby, what do you got? Great value there. Uh, lock up. Uh, we're gonna go Hale State, man. Coach Leach minus one and a half. Let's Hell go. Yeah. Lock it up. Bonus lock. TCU plus seven and a half. Uh, money line play. Ohio State plus two twenty five against Georgia. Let's go. Tease. Uh, let's. I mean, I'm all over getting Purdue up to twenty and a half. Let's go. Uh, then, then, uh, let's take, uh, what do we got here? Let's, let's go Utah, uh, plus four. Ooh, well done. I like that. You just like my wrap around there. You like the reach around and I will also go USC plus four. Wow. Oh, double, wow. <laughs> double reach around. I thought I was the one skiing. double T's through zero dangerous man. 
And uh, Sean, shout out to my dog from the last bull picks episode. The Washington Husky is about to pull off the upset against oh. Texas. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Hey, uh, we got the college football uh, playoff props contest. $200 in SGPN gift cards up for grabs exclusively on the SGPN app. Download it. Uh, very easy to play. Free to play. We got the mini helmet. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash helmet. All you got to do is take a screenshot of your Apple Podcast review, submit it over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash helmet, and you're automatically entered to uh, win a free SGP mini helmet. You only have a few more days. The contest ends at the end of the year. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Sean, you might have ruined Christmas for some people telling him you don't tease college bowl games. Kramer, let it ride.